Hello friends, welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Ankur Chandel and today I'm going to show you how to create an SBase application and to load metadata in SBase application to Maxel. Uh, so first we will see what all applications I have on my console. So for that I'm going on application. So these are the applications which I currently have. Now I'm going to open a Maxel file. New scripts, Maxel script. Okay. Yeah. So I will start writing the script. So what we are doing first is we are going to create an application, then we are going to create a database. And then in that database, we are going to load the metadata in one of the dimensions. So spool on to here, I'm going to give the path. So what I did over here is I have created a folder where I want all my batch files, sorry, all my log files to be there. So I will copy it as a path, paste, make sure they're in single quotes. Login. ID, password, so Maxil is a way to automate SBase administration and maintenance tasks. So that's why we are giving the ID password over there so that we can save it somewhere. And then as per our requirement, we can run the file. On local host. Um, yeah. So now I will create the application, create and replace. Application, my application name, I want to call it fin plan. Comment. I will comment a uh, new application for Maxel script. So there I have created the application. Now the next step will be to create the database, create and replace database now i have to give the database name over there so it will be in my application and i want to call my database as database new comment Uh, I will write the new database for Maxel script. Now, the third step is to import the metadata. So I'm going to use import database command 
my database name. Dimensions. So from where I want it. So eventually I'm going to save it on my server. So that's why from server data underscore file. Name of the file. My file name is income statement one. It's a txt file. using the rule file which I will create just after doing this. And I want to name my rule file as metadata load. Okay, on error, I want it to be here. I want my log file to be here when there's an error. To the same part. Single quote. Then I want the system to log out and spool, sorry, spool off. Yeah. So here we are creating the application. Here we are creating a database. And if you will see this, there we are going to import the metadata under a dimension via a rule file. So we have to create a rule file and a dimension to use this. So I'm going to make it a comment for now. And I will run just these two commands. Let's save it. I'm saving it in my file system, you can save it anywhere you like. And then execute it. It's done. Refresh the applications. And then we can see the application which we have created just now. And it also have a database. Go to outlines. So as I said, the next step will be to create the dimension then the rule file. So here I will create dimension, account, entity, scenario, version, period, yeah. For now, I just want this six dimensions to be in my application. Verify it. And then save it. Done. Now we have to create a rule for it.
rule files. Before creating a rule, make sure that both your rule file and the file which you want to load, that is your metadata file, should be either in a local thing or in a server. So I want it to be in a server. So that's why I will go to where my file is. So this is the file which I want to load, income step one. I will copy it, go to my server, go to apps. This is my app. And in my database, I will paste it. Perfect. Going back to the console, as this console, we start creating the rule file from data file C. In the database server, my file is there. Open it. Tell the system which row is what. I want it under account, so account will be the first generation, it's the second. Four, two, three, four. This will be five. Generation six. Generation seven. Eight. Nine. Yeah. Ten. These are the properties and these are the alias for the field nine. So account property for 10. Account alias. For 10. Okay. Check everything is right. 2, 3 to 10 property. And yes, 10. Yep. Oh, good. Save this rule file. So I'm going to save my rule file on the server. It's by the name. I think it's MD metadata load. Okay. Done. Now I will go back to my Maxel script. MD load, which I have created, dimensions, done. Now I can remove it from the command and run everything at once. First I will save it and then execute it. All right, go to outlines. Mm, yeah, perfect. So the metadata file which we have loaded has been added under account, income statement, net income, everything is there, whatever I wanted. So this is how you load metadata through Maxell in as as base administration service. Thank you.